addition for the following statement. So what we can do here is use the addition rule. So this is the same thing as sine of 3 pi over 2 um, times the cosine of x time, or um, I think plus the sine of x times or times the cosine of 3 pi over 2. And then it's the exact same thing over there. So it's the exact same thing. We're just adding that again. So I'll just go ahead and do it. That's the addition property for sine. Okay. So sine of 3 pi over 2 <laughs> is equal to negative 1 cosine of x is just that, cosine of x plus sine of x cosine of 3 pi over 2 is equal to 0. <coughs> and let's see. Negative 1 times cosine of x plus sine of x times the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. So these are all 0. They cancel out. We get negative cosine x, negative cosine x. So that becomes negative 2 cosine x is equal to negative 2. Um, divide through by negative 2. We get cosine of x is equal to 1. So where does cosine x equal um, 1? Oops. It only equals that at zero. So x equals zero. And that makes sense because look here. Um, if, if, if x is zero, sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 1 equals negative 2. So that makes sense. So x equals zero. All right. Hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day.